Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the contact us form using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo. Whenever we focus into the input field, a light green border is focused around the border. See whenever we submit the form by clicking on the button, input fields become empty. This is achieved using only one line of the jQuery code. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. I'm going to create the responsive contact us form by using the max width property, which I'll show at the end of the demo. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the container div element. Now add the p tag with contact us text inside it. Now create the login development with two input fields with common class input. Now add the text to the placeholders. The text we see in the input fields, is the text we added in the input placeholders. Now create the subject div element with input, class and input placeholder. Finally, add the text area and button. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm using Roboto font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Now set the background image to the body, by using the background property and URL method, pass the image inside the method. And set the background size value to cover and height value to auto, so that the background image will occupy the entire page. And set the font family. Now set the width, height, and background color to the container development. And set the margin left and margin right values to auto, 
so that we can place the container in the middle of the browser. Now set the 40 pixels of the padding and box shadow. Style the contact us text using P tag, turn the text to uppercase using the text transform property, place the text in the center of the container using the text align property. Increase the font size, set the 20 pixels of the margin bottom and change the color of the text. and set the 1 pixels of the letter spacing. Now style the input fields and text area by setting the 100% width and 20 pixels of the padding, see, the input fields are overflowing outside the container. We can restrict it by using the box sizing property. Set the gap between the input field using margin bottom property. Set the 2 pixels of the solid border. Increase the font size and set the 5 pixels of the border radius. To remove the blue border around the input fields, set the outline property value to none. Use the transition property for the smooth transition effect. Now target the input fields inside the login div element, and set its width values to 48% and float them to left, so that both input fields lies in one row. Use the margin right property to set the gap between the input fields. Now set the last child input field's margin right value to zero. Now set the 200 pixels of the height to the text area. Now style the button, by setting the width, background color, height and use the text align property to place the text horizontally in the center. And use the line height property to place the text vertically in the center. Change the text color and turn the text to uppercase. Set the margin top and bottom values to zero and margin left and right values auto, so that we can place the button in the center of the container and set the 5 pixels of the border radius.
Using the focus pseudo element, set the two pixels of the light green around the input fields and text area. Now the change font family of the placeholder text. Here WebKit is used for the Google Chrome, Moz is used for the Firefox and MS is used for the Internet Explorer. Now by using the jQuery, whenever we submit the form, the input field should become empty. First, we need to include the jQuery CDN link in the head section of the HTML structure and now whenever we click the button, the input fields and text area values should become null. Look at here whenever we resize the browser window, the contact form looks messy, we can make the contact form to responsive, just by changing the width property of the container to max width. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.